This is to all of you. I hope that you're having a wonderful Monday. I have to go get a little bit in the next five or so minutes. So I decided to do a quick, quick Jada Pickett Smith video just because I wanted to give my thoughts and my take on it because she came out with um, another another um, sit down with Oda about her relationship with Will. And this is your girl with no makeup, like no nothing. This is me in the raw. And so normally I at least put some powder on, but mm -mm. So here we go. I just want you to hear what she had to say. And at first I started to feel sorry for Jada Pickett Smith because I was thinking that here she go bringing out something that happened to her and will throughout their lives and their situation and her trying to tell her truth as Megan told her truth about, you know, whatever she was talking about, her in-laws. But here Jada is talking about Will Smith and to me... She is selfish. She comes across as an eye person, her feelings, what she wants and stuff. Although she does involve will sometimes us, you know, our journey, what we're trying to get to. And, you know, and sometimes I think her and will talk in metaphors or talk in a way that only them two understand it. And Oda is saying, no, let's get down to the nitty gritty. This is actually what is going on with you two. Tell us the truth, Jada. In other words, you know, no one is starting to believe what she has to say because her and Will have been lying about the relationship for the last six or seven years. Well, I remember when they came out and did like this whole press conference about their relationship and how they were ride or die together. But once again, they were on their lying, you know. Basically, like all relationships, it's difficult, it's challenging, you have to work at it, it takes to, and if you don't cultivate it and work at your relationship, it will die. That is true. And you can't just, you, you have to, with any relationship you got, you have to invest in it and nothing is perfect. She did say some things that I thought was interesting in this. And saying you are responsible for yourself, you're responsible for how you present yourself and bring yourself to your partner and stuff like that. What are you doing to try to make the relationship better? What are you doing that is inputting and making yourself, um, helping the relationship become what it needs to become? Well, it just sounds like her relationship was built on herself, making herself happy, how Will could make her happy. Because Will said it previously. He said, you know, it's not his job to make her happy. And it feels like they both kind of figured that out, that it wasn't his job to make her happy. You have to already be happy within yourself. It's his job to enhance her happiness by bringing that joy into her life, but he is not in end of all ends to try to make her happy when she is dealing with her own personal issues. Tupac, how she was raised. Jada Pickett Smith wasn't raised with a silver spoon. Her mother was on drugs. She was selling drugs. And at some point, she got a piece of the pie and changed her life. That doesn't mean the things that you didn't experience in your childhood didn't is not going to affect you when you get older. You know, you just sweep it under the rug. Let's get to it. Not together, together but, but kind of pretended they were together. So I had trouble they were pretending articulating they were together. exactly right. why that was. So now that you've had more time, right? Why was that? Okay, we let really me rewind needed this a little bit. See if I can get this going again. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I hope everything is going great for you guys. So again, this video was just released today. Her and Oda came back together to do another segment to clear some things up. It didn't clear anything up. What it did, it told me that I felt a little sorry for Jada. 
I felt a little sorry for her. And I also felt like um, she did lie. They are lying, her and Will. And I don't think Will is in this duress type of relationship. Will knows exactly what he, he's doing. He's not a victim like Harry. He, he's somewhat a victim because he decided to stay with this woman, Jada Pickett Smith, knowing that she wasn't in love with him. She wasn't in love. I don't know at what time she was in love with him or even if she ever was in love with Will, but I know at this very moment that she still is not in love with Will. And if you're not in love with him and you're trying to make this work, then it's confusing to everybody else because you're like, well, we're together, but we're not together. I love him, but we don't really love each other. Listen to this. I want you guys to hear what she says because it just continues to be confusing. Uh, all right, come on. I'm getting it together, guys. Bear with me. Just brought Will and I closer in such an authentic oh, way, you know, instead of trying to be a thing, it's like just tearing all that down and finding what's true between us. Wow. And it's been beautiful. It's been difficult. It's been difficult. But beautiful. Because one thing people were really still concerned about or confused about right. really was, okay, hang on. They've been divorced mm -hmm. In theory, but not on paper. Yes. They've been, they were not together, together but, but kind of pretended they were together. So I had trouble articulating Everybody. exactly right. why that was. So now that you've had more time, right. why was that? We really needed time to get solidified yeah. because at the end of the day, Will and I love each other. Solidified. You know, we had to really figure out what we, what wanted, we wanted before we Do you went know into the world to say what was going on because we were in such, you know, we were just kind of in this very fragile place. And so now we're just super solid. Yeah. And so now I can actually talk about what the journey has been. So Will talked to the New York Times or gave a statement, and this is what he says. Uh, we'll put it up on the screen. This is from the Times itself. The memoir Will Smith said in an email kind of woke him up. She'd lived the life more on the edge than he had realized and that she is more resilient, clever, and compassionate than he'd understood. And this is the quote. When you've been with someone for more than half your life, he wrote, a sort of an emotional blindness sets in and all you can do uh, and you can all too easily lose your sensitivity to their hidden nuances and subtle beauties. Did who it knows sounds like what that an emotional means. blindness? He didn't see you. Is that kind of what it was that he? I think yeah, that's so she universal don't know in relationships. He didn't see me, and I didn't see him, okay. right? Yeah. And so we kind of had to go our separate ways to see each other. You yeah. know, but because when you're sense. in a relationship and you're kind of just pulling at that person to be something for mm -hmm. you, okay. you refuse to see mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And so we had to go our separate ways mm -hmm. to really look at ourselves and see the blocks that we had in order to find a way back. So y'all back part now? that was very sensitive with you and it was very touching to me that you'd gone through it, but you Are talked about- Are they back now? the idea that you were maybe going to kill yourself. Yeah. You felt like you were not, your kids would have been better off, Will would have been better off, everyone would have been better off without you. Yeah. What did your kids think? Okay, I want to fast forward this part, okay? And I want to get to this one piece that she said. Because she's talking about how they had to go off to, to get each other, to be able to come back to each other, to be able to love each other and to be this re in this relationship. Let's see. Very extreme, yeah. you know, situation for me, but, but I swear I'm so part. grateful she's that I went through it because in yeah. four days, thoughts, and four no excruciating nights, that. but on the other side, I never. And you never had a suicidal thought since then? Never. Um, you, the title of your book is worthy. worthy, and you. So today, as we sit here on this couch, I feel worthy. Tell me. Yeah, I just feel so good. I've been through so much, you know. Yeah. And when you can really look at your life, and we think that life is supposed to be perfect, and when uh -huh. life isn't perfect, we feel like, oh, then I'm not worthy. Then something's yeah. wrong with me. That's true. And that's not what it's about. Uh -huh. We get challenged with life in order to keep building our self worth, to keep like finding that. our greatness. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's what the book is about. It's about that journey. If you find another great love, or if Will finds <clears throat> another great love, there's no finding another great love, and I think that's the point. It's like. 
we are in a place now that we are in a deep healing space and we are really concentrating on healing the relationship between us. So that doesn't make sense to me. First, you said you guys were separated and almost divorced. And then you say you're in a good space. You and him are doing really good. You guys are, you know, back at it. The thing that she didn't, I didn't hear is that I love Will. You know, I realized that, you know, some of this is me. It's not Will. I need to be a better wife to him. I need to listen to, listen. you know, she didn't say anything to me other than put us right back where she put us. Confused. You know, we're in a good space, we're doing good, we're learning, and we're doing good. No. Oda asked her, well, if we all or you find another partner, will you guys just go off and be with that person? And she was like, oh, no, no, no. So, in other words, Oda and the rest of us is still confused by Jada's entire revelation. I get she's coming out with the book. This doesn't make us understand her more. If I bought her book, I would just be still confused because they're all up in here. It doesn't make sense. The, here it is, point blank. You guys have been lying about your relationship since 2016, about, you know, being married or not being married. Obviously, they haven't been married for the last eight months. That's years. That's what she's seven years. That's what she's trying to say. But now they're in a good space and they're in a healing process where they can be able to become husband and wife again. You've had seven to eight years to get that together and you still haven't made it. You still need to get there. You still confused. If you haven't got it by the time that you, when you married him till now, then there's nothing to get. What are you working on? What are you still trying to get to? To me, it sounds like a very toxic relationship and it's spilling out in the streets. And this memoir didn't make me, didn't get me closer to understanding who Jada or Will Smith is. They are a confusing couple to me. And People are saying, oh, Will needs to leave. Will needs to get out of this relationship. Get out of what relationship? He's in this dysfunctional place with her. And he supports her because he supported this book. So he supported everything that she read and everything that she's saying on this couch. He supports his wife. So to me, when like people are running around saying, oh, she needs to leave him or he needs to leave her. For what? He is in cahoots or in agreement or in with her. He the one went up on the stage and slapped Chris Rock. He is the one that's still in the house praising her and giving her accolades for her new memoir. He is still in the house allowing her to be separated but be together. He's still in the house allowing Jada to figure out if she still wants to be in this relationship eight years later or 30 years later. That's why Oda and all of us are confused as to why she even felt like she needed to even tell us that they were in a dark place or divorced or stir up this controversy that they aren't together. It, and it, it, all it is, is is causing conversation, but it's also causing people not to respect Jada or like her or care about what she's saying because she's lying. She's flippy floppy. She's telling stories that don't add up because they don't want to make it seem like they're this couple that can't get it together or want the world to know that they're having problems. It's it is what it is. You're a public figure. Unfortunately, we are going to find out. But now, after you guys kept telling us that everything was perfect, and then now you're telling us it's not, it's considered a lie. And then the confusing part to me is when Oda asked her, well, you know, here's some relationships over here that you and Will might want to grab onto. Would you guys go do that? And Jada act like, like, like Oda was wrong for asking the question. No, that's not it at all. Me and Will are in a good spot to be in a good place with each other. And not once did she say, she, I love him and I want to be with him and I care about him. No, she didn't say that. 
She just said that, no, Oda, we're going to stay together regardless. I think that them staying together in this type of environment that they have themselves in is not healthy for her or him because of the slaps, because of the controversy, because of their relationship isn't on a tight rope. Listen to what Jada is saying. I think I'm out of here, guys. There may not be the divorce on paper anymore. There's no divorce on paper. I mean, not on paper. There might not be a divorce in theory anymore. Yeah, no. We really have been working the life more on the edge than he has. She said, so there's no divorce on paper. There's no theories of divorce. And see, Oda is asking these questions and Jada's like, no, that's not what I meant. No, that's not what I meant. No one knows what you don't even know what you mean. You don't even know what you mean. Suicide. And, and I never had a suicide. And she thought. is, Oda is just confused as, as we are. I got to go, guys. Let me know what you think about the video, about this whole shebang with Jada. Go take a look at it. I sent you the video. Maybe watch the video first and then. Take a look at, um, I gotta go. Uh, look at the video first. Take a look at the video and then, um, uh, come back to this video. Watch my video. Love you guys. Kisses. Let me know what you think. Do you think the video, the, the couple is okay?